Let's take a look here now at the first lobe and that is the fuse here in the pixel surface. So if I go here to this tab here, we have a gain slider and that is it's a multiplier of the incoming texture. So let's hook up a texture here. You can see here we can take a color, but we can also input a texture and I have a texture here. So let's input our result RGB into the diffuse. So you could expand here like so insert it like this uh, and that's totally fine i'm gonna break this connection close this one and if you now go to the lobe here itself uh, this drop down you get a list here as well so you don't have to expand you can just insert like this and it will be the same thing if you know what you want to get here so you see here you have roughness one and zero and you can see there is a, a slight difference here in the the look when i do this let's take a look here uh, at this pre-rendered image here this one is when i set the roughness to zero and that is the default once i set the roughness to one like so i get this look you see it becomes a bit darker and it becomes like even rougher i guess I believe when it's set to one, it's supposed to mimic the surface of the moon, but yeah, that's something I picked up somewhere. Okay, so under advanced here, we have exponent, and this one only applies when roughness is set to zero. Uh, diffuse model, and when it's set to this, it's RNAR. But yeah, when this one is set to zero, you can see you have this slider, and when it's above zero, it's essentially dimmed out or taken away. And what this means, if we render this one now when exponent is set to zero and store this one and we set it to, to one, go in here and see the difference when I swap between these two here. There we see between zero and one. In the next episode, we're going to take a look at the specular components. If you want to support my channel, consider subscribing and hit that bell notification so you don't miss anything. See you on the channel. Bye bye.